Good afternoon and welcome to our Living with Wildfire mini series. This is put together by the Trinity County Fire Safe Council. My name is Amelia Flights and I'm here today with Dylan Sheedy of the Watershed Research and Training Center in Hayfork, California. And he's here today to talk to us about opportunities that the Watershed Center has for Trinity County residents. Go ahead, Dylan. Hey, thanks Amelia. Um, thanks for putting this on and organizing this and uh, happy to be here today to promote some of the services that we uh, offer here at the Watershed Center for private landowners in Trinity County. Um, big thanks to our partners and grantors uh, listed here, U.S. Forest Service, CAL FIRE, California Fire Safe Council, uh, the Natural Resource Conservation Service, uh, Trinity County RCD, SPI, and Trinity River Lumber. Um, together, Collectively, we've brought nearly over $5 million to this county over the last several years to implement meaningful fuels reduction projects. So generally at the Watershed Center, we offer a lot of different services. We focus on implementing hazardous fuel reduction treatments in strategic locations. Uh, you know, this is to improve and promote community wildfire protection. So private land projects we offer hazardous fuel reduction treatments in the form of manual and mechanical fuel reduction services uh, this includes all aspects of planning implementation and maintenance our treatments aim to improve defensible space around habit habitable structures critical infrastructure and uh, you know to improve ingress and egress for evacuation or firefighter access we also focus on landscape level fuel treatments uh, surrounding our communities to create you know, fuel breaks and other features to improve suppression efforts. Our treatments that we offer include hand thinning with chainsaws with uh, hand crews, mastication, chipping, pile burning, broadcast burning. Uh, usually our treatments focus on hand thinning smaller diameter trees and shrubs to reduce the vertical and horizontal continuity of fuels. These projects are all done with state and federal fire prevention grant programs, so we offer these services with little to no cost to the landowner. Uh, if you're not in one of our grant areas, we offer fee for service work and we can also help secure grant money for your area. Uh, the biggest thing is just to contact me and, and set up a meeting so I can visit your property and let you know what we can do for you. I'll have my contact info at the end of this presentation. Um, where larger scale opportunities exist, we offer, we have a fire management program here at the Watershed Center. Uh, we offer, you know, this is in coordination with our partners at CAL FIRE, the Forest Service, RCD, volunteer fire departments. We have our own firm boss and fire ecologist on staff. We offer prescribed fire planning and implementation, smoke management planning. And again, we have our own crews and equipment to implement these projects. So we, we'd like to promote prescribed burning as a, ecologically sound treatment that is very effective in, in treating large landscapes uh, with low cost. We also partner with the NRCS and, and promote their uh, landowner cost share programs. These include the Environmental Quality Incentives Program and the Regional Conservation Partnership Program. These are high quality cost share programs that I believe are very beneficial to the landowner we provide technical assistance services and can help plan your projects. Um, if I can get to my next slide, there we go. So private land projects that we have currently uh, in Trinity County include the Weber Basin Community Protection Project. I'll have maps for each of these and we can look at them. Uh, this is a, a federal Stevens Authority funding for, for private land projects. We still have chipping available and our phase three project was just awarded. Uh, that will include landscape level prescribed burning and treatments in the Weaverville Community Forest and in, in some private uh, residential areas. We also have our Trinity County Community Chipping Program, which is funded by the California Fire Safe Council. We also have another California Fire Safe Council grant called the Hayfork Community Protection Project, phase two. We have a CAL FIRE Fire Prevention Grant and again, the NRCS Technical Program Assistance. Um, some nice pictures here of, of some before and after uh, some private landowners. 
kind of an example of some of the treatments we can do for you. So we'll go over some maps here. Here's the Weaverville Community Forest Protection Plan. Kind of hard to see. Weaverville's right here in the middle. And you can see the red is kind of the plan prescribed burn areas. The blue is the plan chipping areas. This greenish yellow color is a combination of both. We're trying to strategically place treatments around Weaverville to protect from future wildfires. Here's our phase two California Fire Safe Council project. You can see all the pay for is, is highlighted here. It does include some prescribed burning as well, but everything within these boxes, you know, is open for community chipping, hand thinning, pile burning, et cetera. We also have included in the project work down in Mad River and Van Dusen. Some in these boxes. And we also have work secured around Hay Fork with our Cal Fire Fire Prevention Grant shown here. You can see we have a scrap burning planned at the Tule Creek Ranch. I think it's important to note also that the Watershed Center partners with the Forest Service to implement projects on public land. So just so the public is aware, we do have projects planned with Weaverville and Hay Fork Ranger districts. Here's an example of some projects planned in the Weaverville Community Forest and some projects planned in and around Hay Fork. I'll have to point out here, here's the Big Creek Ranch, lots of prescribed burning planned here, lots of plantation thinning planned as well. That's all I have today. I'd be happy to talk to any private landowner who was looking for assistance with fuels reduction work on their property, uh, the Watershed Center is here to assist you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dylan, for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate you being here to participate in the Living with Wildfire mini series. And for those of you viewing, please continue to check back. Uh, we will continue to release these videos through the end of March. Thank you so much.